and welcome to your new favourite podcast. Where your favourite Welsh comedians talk about your favourite Welsh country, Wales. Wales. I'm Priya Hall. I'm Lena Navabi. And this is Wales of a Time. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our new podcast, Priya Hall. Oh, w- w- welcome to you, Leila and Barbie. Nice. Um, I would like to note that the sounds of thumping in the background are a, a cat. A cat. So, you've got a new podcast. How do you feel about that? I'm excited about it. Um, mm-hmm. I, um, I feel like it was only a matter of time. Um, we spent all of our time together. It was only a matter of time before we were going to add microphones to the situation. Yeah. Uh, look, if you've got um, a good... Uh, report, you must monetize it. Yes, well, what, what as else De- is like As about? Aunt and Deck once said. Um, <laughs> how's your day been today, Bria Hall? Great. Um, I did a thing which you are aware of, but listeners might not be aware of That's what such it a is. a millennial phrase. I did a I thing. I did a thing. I did a... Th- well, okay. I'm such a millennial person. Yeah. The issue. Confirmed. Confirmed. Can confirm. Bulbody's no effect. Um, I did a... I did a show called Henna, um, which you love Henna. I love Henna. I think we have to clarify, hello, here is the cat, if you're watching this on YouTube, which you can do um, for illustrious good times. Um, <laughs> we did, you did Henna, which yeah. is, I think... Describe what, to the listeners what Henna is. It's hard is. to explain. So I think before we can explain what Henna is, we have to explain what S4C is. Right. S4C is the Welsh language TV show that... The, channel oh yeah not not show channel it does very much feel like a marvel cinematic universe yeah. thing though where where in the channel itself is sort of like all the programs are somehow connected and also all of the same actors presenters contributors are spread all over all of the shows yes yeah so sometimes it could be one extended show um yeah so s4c is the welsh language channel um and how how, how many times have you been on s4c um, I'd say maybe three now. Three total. Yeah, that can't be true. How many times have you been arrested? Oh my god, more times than I can count. Being, no, four actually. Being a brown child in Wales who speaks Welsh, you said, I've been on S four C since before I can re- remember existing. Yeah, you get put on it a lot. It's um, it's a it's a it's a fun place to um. It's sort of like a, you know, like, I feel like the way like English people will go to like I don't know where do they all go Cornwall like it's like a holiday <laughs> destination is S four C what like, it's domestic no no it's just the channel oh right okay like but not, it's work from day dot but it's not work why are you acting so negative I I love S four C I love it but the, my first appearance on S four C was playing the triangle. And by all accounts, I found it incredibly stressful. I was three. Yeah, that's a you problem. That is a me problem. I've got no rhythm. Um, So making me do percussion on a national television, a national television channel is rude. I don't believe that. I've got no percussion. I've got no percussion. What did I say? No rhythm. I I have had three (laughs) glasses of wine. Um, Not courtesy of Henna, I should point out. I would say Henna is a staple programme of S4C. It's the if Welsh... you know S4C, you know Henna. It's, Welsh, it's the Welsh language one show. Yeah, well, that's exactly but what it is. But it came before the one show, probably. Yeah. Oh, Henna's a million times better, in that they've got a full kitchen on set as well. Yeah, well, yes. Does the one show have that? No, but also Henna don't use the kitchen on Henna. They use it in... What's the, it's the Brin Dar. Brin Dar, which is the afternoon show. So... For clarification... Translation, Henno is Welsh for tonight, and it is the tonight show, basically, it's Henno. Pronounda is Welsh for uh, good afternoon, and Boreda is Welsh for good morning. So all it, of these programmes exist. And they are all filmed on the same set. I think. And they, yeah, and they, That's at it's... least Pronounda definitely is. I think they also sometimes ship presenters. Yes, it's like a fun, it's like if this morning had a, this evening, yeah. and a... Uh, you know how this night. when you're in school um, and your mum doesn't love you, you go to after school <laughs> club <laughs> and, and you also club. go to breakfast club. But you did both. I did both of those things. Um, so you get the same people looking after you in breakfast club, teaching you during the day and then looking after you in after school club. And by the time you get to after school club, they're tired and they hate you. Mm. That's the vibe. Except not in, on Henna. They don't hate people They on are Hena. the most joyful, they are nice people Lovely people. And it's they've got nice perfect teeth. 
<laughs> the <drill> fat skin. <laughs> they all look uh, extremely well. Is and what they I would will say they will all say something to and you. Like, like, Did you know that my teacher, my not my teacher, my sister taught you geography, and you'll go, yeah, yeah of course. You didn't course. know. You have to look it up. No, I. I I, I sincerely hope that she doesn't see this, but um, that happened today while I was on Henna, um, and she showed me a picture of the teacher in question, um, and I've got no recollection of her. I, I had one job for the teacher. You went on Henna to talk about a show that we're doing on Friday, yeah, which both is of also are on. one show on S4C on Friday, in Ooh-hoo. fact, doing stand up comedy through the medium of Welsh, yeah. which I want to ask you about actually, because doing Welsh language stand up is newer to me than it is to you, mm-hmm. but I'd say fairly new to both of us. They are fairly new to everyone. Is that what do you mean? Talking. That was the cat, yes. Sorry for um, I didn't beep out the cat. <laughs> beep out the cat. No, he's protect. not agreed. He's not consented he's to not do He's not consented this. to do this. And we are being more responsible than all family vloggers. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, do you think it's new? Is it new? Or is that Yeah, new? it's a fairly new concept. It's I think Ellis new? James and Tiddy, like, they were Welsh comedians before that, but they were very much like, you know how Vaudeville died a long time ago? What, as in like Charlie, is that Charlie Chaplin? No, Vaudeville's like, uh, maybe Charlie Chaplin started, I haven't Vaudeville, I don't know, I don't know his business, I don't know his history. But it's like, you know, like cabaret, old timey cabaret when they have like prohibition and stuff. And they go up and they do a bit of comedy and they do a bit of dancing and they do a bit of uh, slapstick. It was quite slapsticky. Okay. Yeah, so Welsh language stand, the cat is in the sink. <laughs> the cat's in the sink. The cat's in the sink. Um, Welsh language stand up is a relatively new concept so yeah. ellis james tiddy owen are sort of like superstardom yeah they, they're, they're on the vanguard of it but it's yeah it's, it's like a new what's young the vanguard scene. of welsh comedy who's called that oh someone called us the vanguard of welsh comedy who did i don't remember but that's not true in any way <laughs> what is a vanguard it sounds like a kind of razor it's, i think i think it's vanguard. Like the first shave your legs today is that like that's the vibe <laughs> yeah that's the it's vibe. like gillette the best man <laughs> vanguard <laughs> I think it genuinely means that the first people who go in in a war, in a battle. And, and I would like to clarify, is a I would not war. go to battle for Welsh Standard. You would? would? You would? not go to battle for any Standard. Okay, well that's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on that as the podcast progresses. Okay, so tell me about your experience getting into Welsh Standard, because I find that, I find it very interesting. I, th- I feel like it might be similar to yours. So I um, went to a Welsh language school... School well. School well. I school went to a Welsh language school. I went to a Welsh minds. language school well. Um, but Talking so loud. I know, I know. I'm so... <laughs> I've had three glasses of wine and that is... A more than I can handle. Um, I went to a Welsh language school in the valleys and no, hardly anyone's... The valleys, in the valleys. As everyone will be like, wanting to say if they're not from Wales. Yeah. yeah. The valleys. And we yeah. welcome it. We welcome it. Um, the area I'm from, hardly anyone speaks Welsh, so there was like one first language Welsh speaker in my year. Mm. Um, and we all... Who got bullied. Oh, my God, he did not have a good time. By you? No, not by me. Never by me. You I was friends with him. I went on... You were a bully. No, I was not a bully. In what world was I a bully? I went to his eighth birthday party. And unrelated to what you just said about me being a bully, I dropped a bowling ball on a, a, a separate kid's foot. That was by accident. Oh, my God, he was, like, prodigiously talented at maths. Bowling ball boy. Did you ruin his life? Did no! you break his toe and he couldn't do maths I... anymore? Yeah, that's that's where all of his brains were kept in a toe. Um, <laughs> When's your brain? You need to be Name that quote if you're gay. You won't know it otherwise. Yeah, so when I um, left school, I re- I couldn't speak. Well, I could write it. I could write it really formally. <laughs> I couldn't speak for I stuff. could... This is, this is bizarre. I don't know if I've told you this before. When I... <laughs> When I did Welsh language GCSE, we had to write an essay on any topic, any topic at all. And this one was what, 15? <laughs> I chose to write a Welsh language essay on eugenics. <laughs> eugenics. Is that in primary school? No, in comp. In comp. I was 15. And because, because On the felt... notion of eugenics. Why? I don't know. Was what class was that in? Welsh. They, they said choose any subject. Any subject and you chose eugenics. I know. Isn't that bad? And now you're... Am I well? Is it because like, you're brown? I don't know. And you were, like, looking around. And I don't even... I don't... I don't know how I got onto that topic. It's not something that was brought up in school. That's something that I found on my own. Anyway. Why? I could write very well in Welsh, is so what I'm saying. I could write an essay on you doing it. You can't... Okay, skip. I got an A in that. Well, good for you, but also... Uh, my teacher told me it was a fluke. A fluke? What's that? 
Um, as in, like... Is um, that a Welsh word? No, no, as in, like, it was pure luck that I got an A, not... A fluke? A fluke. Like a flute? No, like a fluke. Like a flake. A flake? A fluke. I don't know what that is. Okay. I don't speak any languages. Yeah, no. Anyway, continue. You really straddle them all, don't you? really straddle them all. Yeah, so I didn't really speak Welsh very well, but I wrote, I wrote it okay. And then um, I went about six or seven years without speaking it at all. Mm. And then I basically just started doing stand-up in it because when I started doing stand-up, I made one joke in my English language set about going to a Welsh language school and um, Welsh language comedians were like, you're fucking doing it in Welsh, whether you like it or not. Yeah, and that's, that's how happens. I got into it and I was absolutely fucking terrified that's because... I wasn't just doing it in my second language, I was doing it in a language that I barely spoke. And it's a completely different situation, isn't it? I'm not like, funny in Welsh, I have to really try you, you to know, be funny in Welsh. writing jokes in Welsh is different. So I was, well, the example I always use is, right, so I had this one joke, which I don't even like anymore in English, to be honest. Go on. But my joke, like, for example, an example joke is, um, I have an unconscious bias. I'm biased firmly towards being unconscious. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's an, ha 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 ha, hilarious. Five stars. <laughs> Five stars, <laughs> best, best newcomer award. Yeah. Best Dave, best joke of the... Anyway, best joke of the flat. Of life. Um, so that joke, for example, w- p- relies just on language mm. alone. That is like a, jo- a language joke. Wordplay. Wordplay on English language, right? Mm. And so that joke would just not work in Welsh. And it's a similar situation where you don't realise how many jokes. If you're a comedian mm. who works in the English language, any other language you work in, you can't tell. Just It's not a case of just translating your set no. it can be a king oh, like on the occasional bit yeah especially if it's like expositionary stuff about you and your life mm. you can sort of do that but you can't most of your set you can't yeah. just translate point blank also being funny in the way that you have to be funny doing stand up uh, it means the audience have to have confidence in you and certainly the way i spoke Welsh when i first started I was so petrified. You gain confidence, right? So now I'm more confident speaking Welsh, which means that I'm able to do stand-up yeah, I get that. with a lot more confidence. I think that's quite a natural... It feels like a natural progression, but also I feel like... Um, what's the opposite of bilingual? Heterolingual. <laughs> heterolingual. Heterolingual, yeah. heterolingual people. Um, no. A monoglot. You're a monoglot. Is that, that's such a monolingual. Word. That's a good, that, sounds like, that sounds like a slur. Monoglot sounds like a disease. A mon... Oh, it is. Um... <laughs> I think if you're a monologue, it's, it's hard to conceive of the idea that you can't just translate a set. Because yeah. something's funny, it's funny in any language. It, yeah. It's that attitude, isn't it? But actually, like, even culturally, like, humour mm. is different. I feel like a different person in Welsh. Well, how have you found it? Because you're newer to it than I am, and yeah. I really remember. I'm still trying to figure out what... I mean, it feels like just starting over yeah. again. It feels like yeah, we're going to Um And it feels... I don't know, I think... I mean, you've got, like, because it's such a new, it feels like a newer art form. Mm. I mean, like, Wales is a, a country so culturally rich and there's yeah. so many art, but stand-up feels like sort of a more new thing. Mm-hmm. A lot of it was storytelling and mm-hmm. poetry and, you know, telling formulaic, form, formulaic, yes, mm-hmm. jokes, definitely feels more of um. I don't know, it, it feels... If you're slightly newer, and so, like, mm-hmm. who was it that said they were, like, Michael McIntyre in Welsh, but completely different in English? What comic was that? Ellis James. Was it Ellis James? Oh, Someone yeah. like that was like, I'm, I can do observational comedy well. Like, so yeah, yeah. Because like, like, there's a, a whole lot of untapped. Ed, uh, yeah, if it's like, everything's been done in English, right? I don't feel the need to prove anything as much in Welsh, yeah. I think, in stand up. I feel more able to just explore, like. Yeah, it's that untapped. Makes sense? It's like untrodden ground. Also, like, Welsh audiences, I find it a lot more forgiving because they don't know what to expect either. No. And that means you can maybe not get because away it's stupid, because that oh no, like, because it's a new. It's not that they haven't seen English. It's not yeah. they haven't seen English language stand up. Most of yeah. them have. I would say almost but, all of them have. But everyone's sense of humour, I would say, is different in Welsh. Mm, I, think, I wonder, well, like the German comedy scene. Because what is Welsh? It's not a. What's the language? You know, you say like Germanic or. Latin. Oh, it's um, Celtic, right? It's really close to Gaelic and. Um, yeah, but isn't there like a. Isn't there some Latin stuff that's similar? Or yeah. French, do you say? Oh, it's like a... It takes stuff from the Romantic languages. Romantic languages. It's like languages. one of the oldest languages in Europe. So it's... Yeah. It shares that's a lot with a lot of different languages. Okay. Including Punjabi, which is not in Europe. No. That's fascinating, mm. isn't it? Um, Back to henna, which is what we were actually talking about. Yes. Henna is interesting in... The, it is like the staple TV show that's wreck. 
um, S or C. But I don't know anyone who like sits down and watches henna. But everyone has. If I've been on henna, which <laughs> happens more often than it should, <laughs> I'm it's not like in my dentist, place. Isn't it? It's like an every six months. Like <laughs> that's like, it. I'm it? not saying it because it's a Welsh language thing. I think that like people don't watch the one show, but then also people do. So like, how? Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. I think there's a big thing in Wales of um, maybe older generations watch terrestrial TV and they're the ones that are watching Welsh language terrestrial mm. TV and they're the ones that will... There's a big thing where... Um, because there's that thing of we all know each other and we'd love to pretend it's not true, but, like, it's a small community, the Welsh language community. So-and-so's grandmother will ring up and be like, I saw your friend on TV and that's how it spreads along. Yeah. And that's how it passes along, right? But it makes all of Wales feel like a community. Yeah. More than... Do you know? Because, I like that, though. Yeah, I do as yeah. well. I've not got a problem with that. I think that, like... Until you've uh, fucked up and um, told a lie on Oh, Hena. my God. We did an interview on Hannah about um, this fundraiser for Ukraine. Mm. And um, they asked... What did they ask you, Priya? They asked you why... They... Let's do an impression. Let's do an impression. We'll do it in the okay. English language. We'll act it out. I'll be Ellen Flair. Okay, you be Ellen Flair. I wish it feels like a big... I mean, I'm just not... I'm not majestic enough, really. But just... You'd have to really... Um, I don't think anyone is majestic as that. No, but you'll have to really stretch your imagination here. Okay. Just imagine that. I picture you're together. an incredibly tall, white blonde woman. The dream. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we're all aiming for. So I, one day, when I grow up. When I've got enough right, money. When I've got enough money, I'll become white. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to do the interview now. Come on. I'll do it in English, obviously. And I'll stand like I want You'll stand like you own the thing. Now Priya, you're a stand-up comedian. That's lovely. Yeah. Why you? Why did you want to do this fundraiser for Ukraine? It's it's um it's really nice having the opportunity to give my time for the cause. Mm. Um, time is the only thing I can give because I have my own money. Which was a, a lie. lie, wasn't it, Priya? We don't have loads of money. Yeah, but you have like. Yeah, to say I have no money in the context of Ukraine. Fund- when you go on here, no. mm-hmm. um, you offered a small fee for taking part, I guess, and for being on screen. Um, can I say what the fee is normally? Or is that like yeah, crass? Yeah, it's like a hundred odd quid, isn't it? It's a hundred quid. It was 50 for that. Okay, it was 50, which is fine because it was about a three minute interview. Yeah. Yeah. Was it 50? Yeah. Oh, okay, it was 50 quid. Um, I know, because. Yeah, you know, because. Um, well, I, before we did that interview, um, the lovely producer came up to us and said, so just so you know, like, everyone else who's interviewing is donating their fee for this to Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Would you like to do this? Would you like to do the same thing? And we were like, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Priya then said that on the interview, on television, live, and um, after the interview was finished, the lovely producer came up to us and said, well, came up to Priya and said, <laughs> um, you know, you don't have to donate the fee to Ukraine. <laughs> Um, you can have Ukraine. If you want, if you want, if you want, if you want that, you, if you, if you, if you need it more, if you feel you need it more, you can have that money. Just for clarification, I said no. Give it to Ukraine because I'm such a selfless person. I would like to clarify. I'm not uh, Mr. Moneybags. That's what they will say. I'm not Mr. Moneybags. We're in a rented flat right now, where I am not allowed to have curtains because the mortar can't hold up curtains. That's fair. Like, but I also uh, to... it just yes, but everything's fine. Everything is... now. Yeah, again, within the context of a Ukraine fundraiser, I to... claiming I have no money was, I would say, a lie. Yeah. N- now, Ellen Fleer. Ellen Fleer. I would say. If this cat were a person. No, this is only video. It would be Ellen Fleer. Yeah. If if you can see this cat, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see this cat. This cat is beautiful and majestic and Ellen Fleer. Um, Ellen Fleer would never sit that close to you. <laughs> um, because she's she, she actually would because she's like the loveliest she's woman so on the planet so but nice. I feel like we wouldn't be worthy of being oh, as close to Ellen Fleer no. Ellen Fleer I would say it's like the Welsh language Holly Willoughby oh a bit, no disrespect to Holly Willoughby but I, I think not I what think, do you think I think Ellen Fleer is the Welsh language I'm trying to Princess think. Diana <laughs> is that in terms of having the heart of a nation you're not far off I think Ellen Fleer is like. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think who is the equivalent of uh, national. David Attenborough. 
But she's... She has the same level of respect. She has the same level of respect, but she's, like... I mean, she's gorgeous. Like, in terms of her role in, like... She is, like, a, she's a presenter. <laughs> I have a question for you. You what? David Attenborough. Would you? But I shag <laughs> David Attenborough. Yeah. No, I'm a lesbian. I mean, yeah, but... Would you shag David Attenborough? I mean, maybe for the story. That's... He's a poor man. He's <laughs> <laughs> pretty yeah. He doesn't want to talk about things like that. Yeah. How many of you objectify David Attenborough? David Attenborough's not going to watch this. He might. He might. He might. He might. He might. You never know. Um, I think that... Um, okay, maybe she's like... I don't know. I think she's... Who's like the most respected broadcaster ever? Trevor Nelson. Yeah, so she's... No, she's <laughs> but he's quite serious, He is he? quite serious. She's a lot more upbeat. She's that bitch. She's just like the mm. nicest person ever as well. She's a lovely to everyone. She's Lorraine. Like, oh, but Lorraine. Yeah, but is Lorraine cancelled? Ta- no, I, I think everyone thought it was such a good hustle that I think it's fine. It. I think it's fine. I think everyone was like, oh, that is morally questionable. But, but, so but I believe in audacious. my heart of hearts, Ellen Field would never evade tax. Not, oh, that, God, not no. that Lorraine ever evaded tax, but. Oh, no, that I was insinuated by some never. people. Ellen Field was never. Um, she is the heart of the nation. She mm-hmm. won Canagumri. Yeah. Which we're going to do a whole, a whole. We have to do a whole episode about Canagumri. But like. It's like the Welsh Eurovision. Yeah. But that's a really like. Some people would be annoyed at us describing it like that, I think. Why? Because like it's its own thing. I mean, yeah. But it's like. It's Canagumri. It's it's it, it translates as. Oh, can all Gumri? Carney Gumry, Song of Four Whales. Can't, E is two though, isn't it? Song two oh, whales. Oh, but also four. It's four and two. A song four and two whales, Carney Gumry. And she won that, didn't she? Yeah. Um, she's also got the voice of an angel. Charlotte Church. She's Charlotte, she's Welsh language Charlotte Church. That's, no, she's more famous than Charlotte. Is she? I don't think Ellen is No, because Ellen Fears does a lot more broadcast in Charlotte Church. Yes. That's true. So Ellen Fears are in the same cinematic universe, they can't be the same person. But the, Ellen Fears is well, Charlotte Church, because Charlotte Church is Welsh. referring to reality as a cinematic universe <laughs> 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 concerning, right? Mm. Okay. Question. Yeah. Um, if Ellen Fears did the same thing Charlotte Church did, which is start a cult in West Wales, would you join? Yes. No doubt. It's not working at school anyway. Um, we'll talk about this. Now. I do not want us in legal trouble with Charlotte Church or her school, which I, I would like to attend if you're out there. Yeah. Um, also, being in Wales, and another fun thing for Wales at the time is every single person I know claims to be best friend of Charlotte Church. Oh my god! Every I, I don't know who to believe anymore. And everyone's been to this school cult. It's not a cu- except yeah, for you us. can't. You can't say that. Why can't I say that? Because it? it's a school. But who runs the school? Charlotte, Charlotte Church. And do, what qualifications does Charlotte don't Church know. have to run a school? I don't know, but you're not qualified to make any allegations about Charlotte Church. Oh, I'm qualified to, to make any allegations I like. Will I also end up in legal trouble? Yeah. I love her. I genuinely, I think she's an icon. I think she's an icon. Oh yeah, oh my god, yeah. Oh, no doubt mine. Issues and Issues. Is that what her album's called? Yeah, it's Issues and Issues. That's amazing. I know. I love it. Tears or Spunk? Oh. Why would you say that? I would say maybe we shouldn't record this in the early hours of the morning after I've had more than I will bleep out drinks. certain things. If you think I'm doing this again, you're incorrect, so don't just throw it away. <laughs> what, bleeping? No. Or this podcast? No, well, not the we recorded this episode. Oh, People okay. are going to see your true colours. Good. It's about time. Shining through. And that's yes, why I'm... Yes. Don't sing it, we haven't got the rights. <laughs> Next Please stop it! La 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 la. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Ellen Fleer. Have you seen her house Instagram? Oh, no. I hope it's Ellen Fleer. I'm talking about. Wow. I sincerely hope it's Ellen Fleer that has the. Ins- she's doing up a house, or she was doing up a house. That was ages ago. Someone in Wales is doing up a house. <laughs> Someone in Wales is doing up a house, and they've got an Instagram page about it, and it's fascinating. Um, we'll tweet it if if that's correct. <laughs> This my my favourite show was, and I used to watch it as a child, mm. especially if I was off sick. I can't remember what it's called. It's called Dish Lad Something. Mm. And it was a show where someone, a presenter, would go through, like, um, have you seen, you know... Through the keyhole, but with people's... Um, clothes. Yeah, with people's cupboards. Yeah, it's a bit like, you know, Curious Podcast. Yeah. But not, it's like, it's different than that, because people would just, they would just go through the water and be like, what's this dress? Mm, what's yeah, this? Yeah. What's this? But again, not like interesting wardrobes, just... 
the average person. Yeah, but that, that makes it, isn't that interesting? Admit, I, I genuinely think that's Do you remember so it? interesting. I don't think it exists yeah. anymore. It was, I, mm. I loved, I used to watch it, I used to love watching it. Um, yeah. And I feel like it was out in the, like, the, what do they call like 2010s? The 10s? The, 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 the 10s. Naughties. The Naughties Plus. No, it wasn't, it was like 2010. Maybe. What are we in now? The 20s? Sure yeah, it's got. Roaring 20s. Uh, gonna be sick and up um yeah no and it like so all the fashion was like big beads and, yeah of course like, think girls allowed like, a like that belt. era yeah frankie from saturday's era mm-hmm. everyone had that hair um i have that hair you still have that hair hun. um i is anything wrong with frankie you, I, I don't think i've got frankie hair similar i've got a you haven't got that like pointy bit on the edge yeah but i have and as well you know i have had that haircut in i know instance. you've had a many a haircut in uh-huh. your time um, I loved that show and I want uh, this is my campaign to bring it back and to let me host it oh my god yeah I want to rifle through people's wardrobes yeah. and be like what do you call this come down with me stole what is that this, what from is this Escort stain scene. what come down with me so well, that they have part come of their down show me on, on, uh, yeah but you know like come down well with me has the me. bit where they rifle through people's wardrobes it's not always the wardrobes it's different, it's different. this is very specific yeah. you know, it's like a deep like it's a and it's like a it's like a scientific analysis of someone's, mm. you know, you know, like if someone had committed a crime, you go to their ward and look at this. <laughs> they're looking for blood. We're coming closer to the end of the podcast now. Okay. And um, I want to know your Welsh highlight of the week. Going to a petting zoo called Kevin Mapley Farm. Which I only found out existed when you told me the other day, um, and it was amazing. They were pygmy goats. Sheep sound exactly like human beings pretending to be sheep. Oh, I loved it. Does it sound like if you kicked a man in the gut? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I loved it. It was really good. What's your Welsh low light of the week? Oh, Welsh low light of the week? Fucking hell. Oh, what's my Welsh low light of the week? Do you have any? <laughs> I mean, this can't go in by my Welsh low light of the week. No, don't. Like... We can't glue this. We can't glue this. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, I bleep that out? Can I just bleep it out? Because if you want to know what it is, Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> yes, we're going to have a Patreon and uh, you can find it. We'll, put, we'll tweet the link if you want to give us money because Priya Hall, as she said on national television, has no money. Um, or you could just donate it to Ukraine, but also we would love to make this podcast. And are you giving people the option <laughs> to donate to Ukraine? Yeah. Or sign up to our Patreon. I. They can do both. Listen, all I'm saying is, look, most people have disposable income in this hellish. Some people do. Some people. Do. Some Listen, people here's really bit. If you're poor, please don't don't do it. Oh God, don't. no. We will well, still do either. I mean, you can still go to you. I don't want your money if, if it's hard times. But if you are rich, or if you have a rich parent or parents, mm-hmm. then you can give us your money. Also, if you've ever made sheep noises, a Welsh comedian. If you've ever... If you've, if ever, you've ever... Oh, my God. If you've ever done a Welsh accent back at a Welsh person, um, then sign up to the Patreon because you've got... You've, you've got a... You've got right. A tone. Yeah, and we're going to do like, see, like little clips and updates and secrets and like make mini episodes. <laughs> if you want to see my eczema close up, uh, I can do like some close up pictures. Do you want to see um, all of the pictures of Layla's allergic reactions to miscellaneous things? Maybe I'll make an OnlyFans, but I'll call it Only Flans and I'll just make loads of flans and take pictures of them. Do you know how to make flans? No, I'll find out though. Um, I. Well, you haven't asked me what my Welsh highlight or no What's highlight was. Your Welsh it highlight. <laughs> What's your Welsh highlight of the? I was going to say year, week. My Welsh highlight of the week um, was. Um, why did we go? Why, why did we? Where did I go recently? Where did, I go Wait, where did you go? Oh, recently? I know my Welsh highlight of the week. My Welsh highlight of the week mm-hmm. was um, celebrating our lovely friend Dan's birthday. Oh. Lovely in a Dan, yeah. beautiful gay bar called the Golden Cross, which is shutting down because they're building flats there R. instead. R. So that's R. simultaneously my low light. It's finding out that that's closing down. R.I.P. the Golden Cross. But not yet. They're still going at the moment. R.I.P. to be the Golden Cross. It's hideous. Not the Golden Cross. No, the, the fact the, that it's closing the down. The fact it's closing down is yeah. hideous. And also they're going to put ugly, ugly flats full of ugly, ugly people inside. And it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, so that's really sad. Literally. And it's a, it's a great loss. But we had fun we had celebrating the friend's birthday. And black bag in the background and mm. thus um, must, we must conclude this episode but thank you for listening the Welsh word of the day that we can teach people Cunningen. 
Kung in, Kung in. I don't know that word. Rabbit. Kung in. I didn't know that. Really? No. You're welcome. What's your Welsh Kung word Ingen. of the day? Um, it is bilch. Cow. And goodbye. Hope you've enjoyed Wales of the time. And now we're going to dance to the jingle.